Douglas Housen Pender was born in a hamlet called Starkholms near Matlock in Derbyshire in 1886. His father Henry died the following year, aged just 40. By 1891 the family had moved to Lambeth where his mother Hannah became a school teacher at a local government board school. By 1901 they had moved again, this time to Newquay, where Hannah ran a dame school for infants from their home in Oakley Terrace as well as teaching at the Newquay Board School. They later moved to a larger property at the bottom of Berry Road. By age 14 Douglas was articled to John Anna, a Newquay architect based in Fore Street, but soon afterwards decided that he wanted to become a full-time artist. In 1908, he married Edith Jane Osborne from St. Wen, and they moved to Plymouth, and soon shortly afterwards, again to Horrorbridge. It was whilst he was living at Horrorbridge that he would have painted the many Dartmoor scenes that made up his catalogue of work. It was during this period that he began to also use the name Ben Graham for some of his work. Many of these paintings were either in watercolour or gouache. Before the start of World War I, Douglas had moved back to Newquay along with his wife and young daughter Ruth, who had been born in Plymouth in 1912. They lived in St Mary's Road in Newquay and he had joined the Plymouth Brethren, a Christian group. When called up for war duties, he had refused on the basis of his Christian beliefs and appeared before the Newquay Military Service Tribunal on the 16th of June 1916 as a conscientious objector. Exempted from a combatant role, he had joined the Dorset Regiment No. 3 Brigade non-combatant company to carry out general duties in a non-combatant role. In July 1918, he was court-martialed under the category of insubordination, disobedience, etc. against the Lance Corporal, presumably going against orders contrary to his beliefs. He was sentenced to two years imprisonment at Wormwood Scrubs. He was released early under licence through a Home Office scheme after being interviewed by the Central Tribunal who found him to, to be a genuine conscientious objector and subject to good behaviour under that scheme. Later he was sponsored to go to Egypt to paint a number of desert scenes from the station at Beis Said. There are still quite a number of these paintings remaining in circulation. 1921 saw him working from home as a watercolour artist and living alongside Edith and Ruth at St Mary's Road. By 1930 he had opened his own studio and shop at 84 Street Newquay named Tower Studio. Here he sold his own work and that of others, such as A.P. Shepard, who has erroneously been linked as another pseudonym of Pinder. Along with artwork, he would have sold many other tourist orientated souvenirs, including postcards of his own work in sepia, printed by E.A. Sweetman and Son Limited of Tunbridge Wells. These were also supplied to other tourist shops. Tower Studio would continue to be operated by Pinder until the end of his life and then continued for a time by his then second wife Gladys and daughter Ruth. He did not drive a car but used a bicycle heading off to many locations along the North Cornish coast. He used a specially shaped thin box attached to the bicycle for his painting equipment. If travelling further he would have taken the train. He painted mostly watercolours as well as a far smaller number of oils, usually seascapes, which often included details that allowed the location to be clearly identified. Preferring to handle his own work through his own studio in Newquay, he is described by Pinder expert Courtney Smale as a loner. His early work is signed D.H. Pinder, whilst later works are signed Douglas in brackets, H. Pinder in a printed script. Pinder painted many scenes from rocks close to the shore and really excelled at painting waves and water. The photograph of him painting is from rocks just below the Headland Hotel on Fistral Beach, Newquay. Here he is wearing his usual garb of Oxford jacket and bow tie with plus four trousers. 
The photograph, entitled Bass Fisherman, is Pinder standing at rocks known as Splash Point on the fistral side of Pentire Head in Newquay. Edith died in January 1949 and soon afterwards Douglas married Gladys Selina Richards. Pinder himself died at 79 Mount Wise, Newquay on the 14th of November 1949. His painting, A View of Polpero, was exhibited at the Plymouth Arts Society exhibition in 1950. His daughter Ruth had followed her father's footsteps, also becoming an artist. Douglas Pinder's paintings have remained popular, especially the higher quality ones commissioned specially by local Newquay hoteliers and business people. Perhaps overshadowed by other Cornish artists who exhibited more widely in Cornwall and national level, his paintings haven't reached a value that might have been expected. <laughs>